And then t- tell me about how you met a guy called Joel. Yeah. And you formed a band together. Yeah. Um, tell me how that came about, because, again, I picked up from the book that your first gig was at a synagogue, which is quite, yes. quite strange. When I moved to the National Theatre and I was there for, a, I think, about six, seven months, I was meeting musicians and I, my priority was to sing. It, it was all I ever wanted. But I also had incredible stage nerves and I didn't have confidence as a singer. But I, I met musicians. So the first one I met was a very charismatic writer called Glenn Marks, who lived in Golders Green Cemetery. And Glenn... He lived in the cemetery? Well, his father was the caretaker at the cemetery. Oh, I see what you mean. So they, right. they, yeah. they lived in okay. the gatehouse there. Yeah. Uh, and, you know, one of the first calls I got from Glenn Marks was come and watch Mark Boland's funeral which I didn't, I didn't want to see that funeral, but you know, sure. that's where the funeral was. So Glenn, myself and other band members, we got together, we wrote half an hour worth of music. The first gig we did in, in that particular band was Dagenham Ford Works in the cafe. It, it was fun, but probably disastrous. And after that, Glenn said, I think you should meet someone who's a more advanced musician. And that was Joel Bogan, who who lived in Golders Green, went to Golders Green school or college. I can't quite remember. But Joel and I instantly hit it off and he trusted that I could sing and was a lyricist. And we just set to work finding musicians, putting a band together, rehearsing every Sunday which was still a day off back then, writing material. Uh, eventually, we had enough material to play his college. And what I remember about that, it was a, a good gig. Joel had a huge following uh, and lots of respect from his peers. I think Will Self was in that audience. Um, there was a BBC correspondent in that audience, so forth. It was quite something. Quite something. Terrifying. 